Bonjour, messieurs, dames. Je m'appelle Brendan Gillen. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue au nom de l'Université de McGill à la Collection des Grades de la Faculté des Sciences. My name is Brendan Gillen. Welcome to this morning's convocation ceremony for the Faculty of Arts. I'm going to review briefly the program with you, and um, we'll then start the ceremony shortly thereafter. Uh, je, avant que je ne vous souligne plusieurs points concernant le déroulement de la cérémonie, euh, j'aimerais bien euh, vous inviter à applaudir notre quintette, Brian Sands. Big round of applause. A big round of applause for the Brian Sands quintet, please. I haven't quite figured out the timing of that. It's, that's one of those things you can say in one language and then say in another and have the spontaneous reaction. Uh, so what I'd like to do now, as I said, simply go through a few of the main points. So the ceremony will begin with the entrance of the so-called platform party and will end with its departure. So shortly before the platform party arri arrives, I will ask you to stand. You'll probably be able to hear the bagpipe music in the background at the appropriate point. Donc uh, la cérémonie commencera avec l'entrée du cortège d'honneur et va terminer avec sa sortie. Et juste avant l'arrivée du cortège, je vais vous inviter de vous, de vous lever. Um, so once the platform party is settled into the, on the stage here, um, Dr. Tracy smith Bissett will sing the university hymn. Donc une fois le cortège d'honneur est installé sur la tribune, la docteur Tracy smith Bissett va chanter l'hymne de l'université. Ensuite, euh, le chancelier Michael Meehan ainsi que la principale, Suzanne Fortier, vont prendre la parole, suivie par une allocation par Sir Paul Nurse, qui recevra un doctorat d'honneur honoris causa. So there will be, after the national, after the uh, university hymn has been sung, uh, the chancellor, Michael Meehan, followed by the principal, Suzanne Fortier, will address you very a very brief uh, address, and that will be followed by the convocation address by our honorary doctoral candidate, Sir Paul Nurse. Après la remise du diplôme, uh, qui est bien sûr uh, l'événement central au aujourd'hui, uh, 
la docteur Tracy Smith Bassett va chanter l'hymne national. So once the degrees have been conferred, which is of course the central event today, uh, there will be the scene of the national anthem by Dr. Tracy Smith Bassett. And then the platform party will depart, followed by the recently diplomaed students starting with the front rank and working towards the back. Donc à la fin, euh, le cortège d'honneur va partir, suivi par les diplômés qui vont sortir en commençant par le premier rang et terminer, terminant avec le dernier rang. Uh, maintenant, je cède la parole au doyen des étudiants, uh, Chris Buttle, qui va vous expliquer les mesures de sécurité qui sont uh, mises en place dans le peu probable éventualité qui est en urgence. So the dean of students, Chris Buttle, will go over the emergency measures that are in place in the very, very unlikely event that there is something that requires us to evacuate the, the area. Oh, Chris Buttle. Good morning, everyone. Well done. Congratulations to everyone. Welcome to this year's convocation and to the graduates. We're very pleased to have you here today. Uh, my name is Chris Buttle, I'm the Dean of Students, and I have a very exciting job today to tell you about our emergency evacuation procedures. You must pay attention carefully, of course. We have a plan, so do not worry. Bienvenue à McGill, la cérémonie de collation de grade à cette année. Je m'appelle Chris Buttle, et on me... Et on m'a demandé à vous informer le procédure d'évacuation de urgence, mis en place. If an evacuation is required, the registrar will announce this to you. You will be required to leave the tent, perhaps to another building or perhaps to the field across the street. Si une évacuation des lieux devenait nécessaire, le registrar en ferait l'annonce. Vous devrez alors quitter sa tent sans tarder. Selon les circonstances, uh, vous devrez vous rendre dans autre bâtiment ou sur le terrain en face de la tente. If you are told to evacuate the building or the tent, please do the following. Leave your baby strollers behind, but take your children. <laughs> do not go with your graduating student. They may be going elsewhere. Follow the instructions by security officers and ushers. And if the evacuation is to another building, this is very easy. Observe the color of your chair. There are lines on the road. You follow the line that corresponds to the color of your chair and there's a map in your program that illustrates this. If you need assistance, uh, speak to an usher or security officer. Laissez toutes les possettes sur place. Ne suivez pas les diplômés qui vous accompagnent. Suivez les instructions des agents de sécurité et de placière. Si l'évacuation effectue vers un autre bâtiment, suivez le tracé coloré sur la rue face à la tente correspond à la couleur de votre siège. Retrouverez le plan d'évacuation en verso du programme qui vous a été remis. Si vous avez besoin d'assistance pendant une uh, éventuelle évacuation, voulez-vous adresser à un agent de sécurité ou à la placière. Once the emergency is over, there will be announcements at the evacuation sites and on the website. Une fois la situation d'urgence passée, des annonces seront faites au emplacement d'évacuation pour vous indiquer la suite. That was exciting, I know. You're all well prepared now. So, I, I am finished, thankfully. Have a wonderful day and congratulations to everyone. Vous remerciez de votre attention. Passez une journée formidable et encore une fois, félicitations aux diplômés. So, congratulations to all. I would, just before the platform party arrives, I would like to turn your attention to the screens. There'll be a very short video and then things will start right after that. Thank you. My name is Maria Gracia. I'm originally from Chile, 
and I did a, a honors in Latin American Studies and International Development. My name is Akil Varani and I'm a visual artist and graphic designer based in Montreal. I graduated in 2012. Je m'appelle Guillaume Drouin Garneau, je suis ancien de, de McGill. J'ai gradué en 2012. Once I graduated, I really wanted to find a way to stay connected with the university. I did some research and found the McGill Women's Alumni Association. It really spoke to me because of their mission to promote women's leadership and highlight what female grads have been contributing to the community. My participation au sein du club cycliste de McGill, je pense que on est une super belle gang. Puis encore aujourd'hui, on voit des anciens, des jeunes qui sont étudiants. Puis on fait des sorties ensemble, on partage une passion. I got involved with the mentor-mentee program uh, with the McGill Alumni Association. It was actually, I was trying to find a way uh, to give my time to McGill. I definitely recommend any mentorship program, whether it's having a connection to other people or advice from someone who's been through it. To try and figure out what you want to do is not as clear-cut as people think. It's important to be able to tell people that if you have those fears, those concerns, they're normal. I've spoken at homecoming events at the McGill Young Alumni Association. I recently created a live artwork at the hashtag Law Needs Feminism Because National Forum. Through McGill Connect, I was introduced to this global network of McGill alumni who I had something in common with. Once I sort of had my industry figured out, my next step was how am I going to get abroad? Ultimately, through connecting with so many different alumni on the McGill Connect platform, I made the decision that London, England would be best for me to kickstart my career. I want to wish the graduating class all the best of luck. This is the beginning of a very exciting new chapter in your life where hopefully you feel prepared and excited. Bonne chance à tous, je vous souhaite euh, du succès, du succès dans, dans, dans vos projets futurs. Je pense que vous êtes passé à travers une institution qui vous permet d'avoir accès à tout ce que vous voulez. Donc, euh, have fun, enjoy the ride and, and, and be patient. So that's the platform party. It'll take them a couple of minutes to get down here, and then I'll, as soon as they get to the entrance of the tent, I'll let you know.
Thank you, Dr. Smith Bassett. Good morning, graduating students, families, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Bonjour à tous. As Chancellor and on behalf of McGill University, it's my great pleasure to welcome you today to our beautiful downtown campus to celebrate the class of 2017 and students graduating from the Faculty of Science. 
It's wonderful to look out at this audience and see this inspiring group of graduates, supporters, family, and friends. And it's an honor for me to be here with you today to share this important milestone. D'abord, permettez-moi de vous transmettre à tous des félicitations bien senties. I have a keen appreciation of what this day means. Once upon a time when dinosaurs ruled the land, I too was part of a graduating class at McGill. <laughs> and it was a proud moment in my life. Some considerable time later, I returned on two occasions as the parent of McGill graduates. And like all parents here today, I beamed with pride twice. And now as chancellor, I have the privilege of attending convocation ceremonies each year. So you could say I've seen graduation from every angle. Whether as a graduate or parent or chancellor, the occasion remains to me a richly deserved celebration of hard work, commitment, sacrifice, and achievement. So bravo and well done to every one of you. Now, although I'm not a psychic, I think I can predict some of the things which are going to happen to you in the immediate future. There'll certainly be much celebration, whining and dining, lots of photos, which will then be shared on, uh, on social media. And there will be lots of advice, lots and lots of it, from many sources, parents, relatives, friends, professors, you name it. So before you hear from all those people, I'd like to get my two cents in and give you my advice. And it's worth exactly what you're paying for it. <laughs> Today, for better or for worse, we all live in a very connected world. Thanks to social media, we can all express our opinion, voice our support, declare our outrage, and do it all in real time, anytime. By the time I finish this sentence, 60,000 tweets will have been posted on Twitter. Hopefully, they won't all be about this speech. Now, the fact is, we live in an immediate world. We find out about news immediately. We react to news immediately. We post our opinions immediately. Instant Twitter outrage and public shaming are now just a part of our reality. So my modest advice to you is this. I'd like you to consider the value of stepping back from that very human, human urge to rush to judgment, to resist the temptation to jump to conclusions or to jump on a bandwagon. I come to this perspective through my own experience, having had the privilege of serving the Senate of Canada for more than 20 years. Je sais que cette vénérable institution ne fait pas l'unanimité. Pour ma part et comme pour la plupart de mes collègues, j'ai assumé cette responsabilité avec beaucoup de sérieux. À mes yeux, j'avais pour rôle d'émettre une opinion modérée et réfléchie, autrement dit, de prendre en considération le cadre législatif, le contexte et les conséquences, puis de faire une évaluation éclairée et des recommandations judicieuses. As students at McGill, you've acquired the same skills during your time here. When working on a paper or a project or a problem, you gather information, assess the sources, look at differing points of view, and draw your own conclusions based on your own best judgment. This is a wonderful and elegant tool to take into the world. I urge you not to lose it and to use the principles and methods which you've learned here to apply them to your everyday experience and to the society around you. Above all, I encourage you to insist on nothing less than empirical facts and data as the basis for your opinions. In some cases, this process will confirm your views. In some cases, it may cause you to even change your mind, or perhaps to prompt you to engage in constructive dialogue. This is not just a sign of intelligence. In our society, it's a sign of integrity and courage. The world needs more of that. It needs more, much more, thoughtful discourse, more room for diverse voices, more tolerance and understanding, more kind words, and less rancor. Let me close with a quote that summarizes my thoughts to you today. Son auteur est l'un des nôtres. 
un Miguelois qui a touché d'innombrables cœurs dans le monde, Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen left a wonderful legacy of songs and poems and, pray, and, and prose. I think this quote is particularly appropriate for today. He said, to keep your hearts open is probably the most urgent responsibility you have as you get older. So do keep your hearts open, be generous of spirit, quick to comfort those in need and measured and considerate in your words and deeds. And remember to keep your hearts open to your friends and supporters here at McGill as well. Wherever you go in the world, you will always, this will always be your home and we will always cheer your successes and accomplishments. So stay in touch, not just today, but throughout your lifelong journey as a graduate of McGill. Good luck, and may this day be both a joyous ending and an auspicious beginning for you all. Thank you. Merci. Je voudrais maintenant inviter la professeure Suzanne Fortier, principale et vice-chancelière de l'Université McGill, à s'adresser à l'auditoire. Madame Fortier. Bienvenue au finissant de 2017. Welcome to the graduating class of 2017. I'm joined here today by your family and your friends, by our chancellor, our chancellor emerita, the chair of the board, our governors and governors emeriti, by our distinguished honorary degree recipient, award recipients by special guests and esteemed colleagues. We're here together to say how proud we are of you and of everything that has brought you here today. C'est pour nous tous un immense bonheur de vous féliciter pour vos réalisations et votre persévérance. You've worked hard on your journey to being here today. Convocation, of course, is a celebration. Today, in fact, marks an important milestone. Savor it, enjoy it, celebrate it. Remember it, and remember also all the friends you've made during your time at McGill. Keep them close. And remember all the people who've been there rooting for you from day one. Of course, your family and friends, your professors, staff member, librarians. They were there for you. So now I want you, all the graduates, to please stand up and you give a big round of applause to all those people who've been cheering for you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. You know, these people will never stop rooting for you, and they'll be there for you, whatever you choose to do next. And we know that you're going to do great things, because you have a mind that knows how to learn, and you will use it to good effect. Over the years, as I've gotten to see you in action, I've called you names. I've called you the startup generation. I've called you the walk the talk generation. I've called you the broadband generation. Because unlike any generations before you, you're ready for action. You're ready to make an impact on the world. Your thoughts and your ideas are spreading at an incredible speed across the planet. You have influence and perhaps far more power than you realize. You're part of a new revolution that is changing the way we live, the way we work, the way we relate to one another. Take hold of the changes that are happening and make it your goal to see them benefit everyone in society. Build the future of our country and our world as inclusive places. This may sound daunting, but of course it's not on your shoulders alone. You will turn to others, seeking purpose, sharing and questioning ideas, and discovering new opportunities. Of course, you already know 
what it means to work as a team. And I've seen wonderful example here at our university of students working as a team. And I want to share one uh, such example with you. It happened last February when the, I was at a hockey game, a women's hockey game between our Miguel Martlets and the Carlton Ravens. Now, we were feeling good because our Martlets were leading six to four with 35 seconds left in the game. And of course, the Ravens pulled their goalie out of the net. And our captain found herself in front of the net with the puck and she did not score. No, she did not score. Instead, what she did is pass the puck to her teammate who already had two goals in the game and thereby giving her a hat trick and the first star in the game. And those of us who were watching couldn't believe it. All we could say was, wow, what an incredible example of true team spirit. Putting your teammate and the team first. Now, while we're on the topic of great team spirit, I want to recognize the outstanding contributions of Stuart Kip Cobbett, who's the chair of McGill Board of Governors and will complete his term at the end of June. Kip has been an exceptional member of Team McGill, serving our university in so many ways, from president of the McGill Alumni Association to valued member of numerous governance committees. He truly is what we call an MVP. Loyal, present, generous with his time and good advice, and always, always ready to do his part. So thank you, Kip. Thank you to you for your loyalty, friendship, and exemplary service to the university. This convocation is also one of the last one for Dr. Rosie Goldstein as Vice Principal Research and Innovation. During her six and a half years in the role, Dr. Goldstein and her team have devoted their efforts to supporting the aspiration and achievements of McGill researchers. The university has seen great success and our researchers have won some of the world's most prestigious prize. So thank you to you, Rosie, for your leadership. Thank you also to Kathleen Massey, who will be leaving McGill after nearly 10 years as the University Registrar and Executive Director of Enrollment Services. We're grateful, Kathleen, for your unwavering commitment to McGill students and the university community. And finally, Thank you to all of you, the 2017 graduates. You've made great contributions to your university during your time here. Nous savons que vous allez continuer à faire rayonner notre université à travers le monde. Vous faites maintenant partie d'une belle et grande famille et j'espère que vous considérez toujours l'université comme votre maison. Revenez nous voir le plus souvent possible. Nous, euh, nous aurons toujours les portes très grandes ouvertes pour vous. And we all look forward to hearing about your lives, your successes, and about all the places that your education will take you. Félicitations, congratulations. Merci, Madame Fortier. Professor Bruce Lennox, Dean of the Faculty of Science, will present this year's recipient of the Leo Yaffe Award for Excellence in Teaching. Professor Lennox. Madam Principal and Vice Chancellor, the Leo Yaffe Award is given each year to recognize a faculty member for superior teaching at the undergraduate level in the Faculty of Science. On behalf of the Faculty of Science, I'm very pr proud to present to you this year's winner of the Leo Yaffe Award, Professor Andrew Hendry of the Department of Biology and the Red Path Museum.
Professor Hendry is exceptional in his ability to engage students at all levels, captivating their interest with his unique presentations. He's probably most widely known for his remarkable skill in teaching the large introductory class in biology. Students often begin this course, frankly, with some degree of reluctance. They're then fascinated to discover that biology is captivating, is full of discovery, and is incredibly relevant. Professor Hendry doesn't just teach biology, he communicates biology. He does so by using rigorous detailed explanations, engaging stories, beautiful photos that illustrate the material, and in every lecture, descriptions of research as an adventure. He's also known to use unusual teaching aids in his lectures, the most memorable perhaps being a very live snake, a complete gorilla skeleton, and perhaps uh, most alarming, interpretive dancing. <laughs> but student tes testimonials give us more insight into the impact of Professor Hendry's teaching. His nomination included statements such as, hands down, my favorite prof. Extremely engaging with many interesting anecdotes that make you want to drop everything and be a biologist. Or a phenomenal teacher. His enthusiasm for teaching and research is contagious. Professor Hendry is not just a phenomenal teacher, he's also a world-class researcher. He is internationally recognized for his research in evolutionary ecology. He's received a number of national and international awards for his research. Madam Vice Chancellor, Professor Andrew Hendry embodies the Faculty of Science ideal, to have our best teachers be our best researchers and our best researchers be our best teachers. Andrew Hendry is a most worthy recipient of the honor that you are about to bestow upon him. Congratulations, uh, Professor Hendry, on receiving the Outstanding Teaching Award. Dean Lennox, please return to the podium to present Sir Paul Nurse that he may have conferred upon him the highest recognition that is within the power of this university to grant. Mr. Chancellor. It is my great pleasure to present to you Sir Paul Nurse, distinguished scientist, renowned research leader, and pioneering geneticist and cell biologist. Sir Paul's research career has been devoted to the understanding of the global cellular networks that regulate the cell cycle, thus controlling how cells grow, divide, and are shaped. These cellular controls are fundamental to the growth, development, and reproduction of all living organisms. They're also relevant to understanding disease, particularly cancer. Unrestricted cell proliferation is a hallmark of cancer. Cancer is often associated with altered cell cycle and cell growth cycle controls, and shape changes are associated with metastatic cells. Since the mid-1970s, Sir Paul and his co-workers have used fission yeast as a model organism to understand how the myriad molecular mechanisms operating within a cell act in concert. His identification of the fission yeast gene CDC2 in 1976 was a major, major breakthrough that provided a foundation for understanding cell cycle progression at two critical transitions. His subsequent work led to the discovery of two proteins critical to the progression of the cell cycle. This work led, led to the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Sir Paul and his two colleagues, Sir Tim Hunt and Lee Hartwell. In ongoing work, Sir Paul and his co-workers tackle essential questions in cell biology that require the development and application of molecular genetics, genomics, and chemical biology. But Sir Paul's impact extends far beyond the research laboratory. He currently serves as the first director and chief executive of the Francis Crick Institute in London and as the chancellor of the University of Bristol. Prior appointments have involved positions of great influence and leadership, including as Director of Research at the Imperial Cancer Research Fund in London, Chief Executive of Cancer Research UK, President of Rockefeller University in New York, and President of the Royal Society London. His contributions have been acknowledged in the form of many awards and honors, 
In addition to the 2001 Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology, he's received the Gardner Foundation International Award, the Lasker Award, a knighthood in 1999, the Royal Society's 2015 Copley Medal, and over 60 honorary doctorates. The conferral and acceptance of an honorary doctorate is a reflection of shared values of the most profound nature. Indeed, Sir Paul wrote in his Nobel Prize citation that science is, quote, a liberi liberi liberalizing and progressive force for humanity. As a scientific leader, he's an inspiration to us all at McGill. His association with McGill makes us very, very proud. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Sir Paul Nurse so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to invite our most recent graduate, Dr. Paul Nurse, to deliver the convocation address. Dr. Nurse. Chancellor, Principal, Chair of the Board, Dean, members of the university, new graduates, parents, and guests. It's a long list. It's a pleasure and an honor to be receiving this degree today from the University of McGill. Thank you. The first and most important thing I want to say is, of course, congratulations to the new graduates, the class of 2017. Most of you will have worked very hard to get your degree. It takes a lot of work to do well, so congratulations. It's time to be proud of yourselves. You should also thank those who have helped you get here, parents, relatives, partners, friends. They will have supported you in all sorts of ways. They are proud of what you have achieved, so thank them. And thank the university too, your teachers, and everyone else who works here, all in their different ways have contributed to what you have achieved here. Some of you will continue in the university sector, perhaps carry out research. Most of you will probably go on to other things. But whatever you decide to do, good luck in your future. Many of you here are biomedical students, and because I am a biomedical researcher, I want to say a few words about science. Whatever you go on to do, keep with you the importance of science as a reliable way to gain knowledge about the natural world and about ourselves. Remember the attributes of science. Respect for accurate and reproducible data and observation. The absolute need for honesty and consistency in all your work. The recognition of the importance of skepticism and doubt, especially about your own ideas. I wish President Trump were to take some note of these <laughs> attributes. It would make his Trump Twitter twaddle easier to listen to. <laughs> Science thrives on the permeability of ideas and people. It flourishes in environments that pool intelligence that minimize barriers that are open to free exchange and collaboration and are tolerant of others and the diversity of their ideas. This last attribute for the need for tolerance is particularly poignant today given the recent attacks driven by intolerance in London this weekend which I know have touched Canada as well. These attributes I've described are characteristic of science, but of course apply to most other intellectual activities as well. Science has a great power to understand the world and to change the world. It has an important role in benefiting humanity through improving the quality of life and health, of relevance to many of you here today, 
for creating new wealth, for helping to solve the great problems of humankind, for protecting the environment. And increasingly, science will play a greater role in all society's democratic decisions. And you, you are well placed to help science benefit humanity. Now, as an honorary graduate, I'm expected perhaps to offer some general advice to the new graduates. In thinking about this, I'm always reminded of Oscar Wilde's thoughts about such advice. He said, the only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It's never of any use to oneself. But I will say a few things. The first is to recommend that you keep your curiosity, a feature of youth, but that can diminish as you get older. Resist that, remain curious. The world is a wonderful place, endlessly interesting, which will enchant you all your life should you remain interested in it. I agree, agree with the historian George Trevelyan, who said, this interested intellectual curiosity is the blood of real civilization. The second thing is to suggest you remain an enthusiast, embrace causes, pursue your interests, care about the world, care about the people around you. When necessary, be passionate about these things. Do not let grass grow under your feet. Get on with things, as Horace said in the first century BC, carpe diem, while we are talking, time is fleeing, seize the day. My third piece of advice, keep your sense of humor. There is a danger, whilst being intensely curious, passionate, and enthusiastic, that you start to take yourself too seriously. Do not forget to laugh, especially at yourself. One of the best anecdotes to the downs in life, and you will have downs, is humor. A day without laughter is a day wasted. These are my suggestions of advice but don't forget what the great British scientist Max Perutz said about advice. I believe after a similar speech to this, one final word, never follow the advice of your elders. <laughs> I want to say one more thing to the scholars, teachers, and officers of the university. Higher education has become very complex with a focus on financial targets, budgets, research assessment, impact, innovation, strategic aims, and so on. With all of this, it can be easy to lose sight of one of the main reasons for having a university. It is to teach students at all levels to think, to value freedom of thought, to be tolerant of others' opinions, to respect innovative ideas. Robert Hutchins of Chicago University summed up much of this when he said, education is not to reform students or to amuse them or even to make them expert technicians. It is to inflame their intellects, to teach them to think. Students need to be taught to think differently. If they leave a university without the passion to challenge, to disagree, to quest for truth, however uncomfortable, then their education has failed. Thank you, McGill University, for this honor, and good luck to all the future graduates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Paul, and thank you for those uh, wise and insightful remarks. I think the enthusiasm of the reception your speech received indicates that clearly your advice has not fallen upon unreceptive ears. We'll now proceed with the conferral of academic degrees. Nous allons maintenant procéder à l'attribution des grades académiques. McGill University's provost and vice principal academic, Professor Christopher Manfredi, will begin the formal proceedings. Professor Manfredi. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. I am pleased to invite the students graduating from the Faculty of Science for the conferral of degrees. This is a truly joyous event in the cycle of any university's life, and particularly so at McGill, 
where we have such talented and accomplished students. Each student crossing the stage this afternoon will be greeted by the Chancellor, the Principal, or the Chair of the Board of Governors. Students receiving their first degree shall remove their mortarboard or hat. At center stage, they will be symbolically capped, signaling ceremonially the conferral of the degree. Students who have already earned a university degree keep their mortarboard on and will be congratulated by a tap on the shoulder. The parchment or degree itself is given to students by the dean or delegate after they leave the stage and have a photo taken. You may see some students wearing red or white scarves. Since 2011, all self-identifying Aboriginal students, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis, are entitled to wear graduation scarves at convocation, in the community, and at any and all future events that they attend. The red scarf is for those receiving a degree, and white for those getting a diploma or certificate. The feather has two meanings, respect for the person, and the mark of an amazing or special event. The Confederacy belt signifies attachment to and respect for the land on which we live, and the turtle symbolizes the inclusiveness of all nations and respect for diversity. It is fitting that we recognize our Indigenous graduates in this way, just as we recognize that McGill University is on land which long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst Indigenous peoples, including the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe nations. We acknowledge and thank the diverse Indigenous people whose presence has enriched this territory on which peoples of the world now gather. En vertu des pouvoirs qui me sont conférés par le Sénat de McGill, je déclare que les candidats de nos noms figurent sur la liste officielle des diplômés de l'université, qu'ils soient présents ou absents, en satisfait aux exigences de leur grade diplôme ou certificat respectif. By virtue of the powers conferred upon me by McGill's Senate, I declare that the candidates whose names appear on the university's official list of graduates, whether they be present or absent, have satisfied the requirements for their respective degrees, diplomas, or certificates. By tradition at McGill, we begin with students receiving graduate degrees, followed by students obtaining undergraduate degrees. I now invite Professor David Ragsdale to present the graduates, and Professor Bruce Lennox, Dean of the Faculty of Science, to congratulate all graduating students. Congratulations, class of 2017. Félicitations. Before we proceed, we would like to take a moment to recognize and honor a deceased McGill student who was a valued member of the McGill community and whose degree is being awarded today with Agritat status. An Agritat degree is awarded in the rare situation when a student in good standing has completed the majority of their program requirements but was unable to finish their degree due to extenuating circumstances. McGill awards an Agricat Agrotat degree to Jessica Yudkovich, Bachelor of Science in Honors Microbiology and Immunology. Today, accepting the degree on behalf of Ms. Yudkovich is Alanya Satcher. In the Faculty of Science, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Biochemistry, Yazin Mahmoud Abbas, Gordon A. McLachlan Prize. Sarah Asadian. Christian Alexander Bludoff. Shane Justin Caldwell. Danielle Ernesto Calles Garcia. Thomas Joseph Kucharski.
Ariely Laroc. <laughs> Teresa Lee. <laughs> Sadiq Mehdi Ishmael Saleh. For the degree of Bachelor, uh, or for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Biology, Maloud Ahmadi. <laughs> Heather Lynn Collins. <laughs> Victor Manuel Frankel. <laughs> Michelle Ashley Kawanda. Krista Beth Oki. Eric Yen. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Cell Biology, Yunju Lee. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Cell Biology and Anatomy, Ali Ben Judy Uwada. <laughs> Lucien Fabre. <laughs> Fiona Yu Lin Law. <laughs> For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology and Immunology. Khalid Omar bin Duban. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Neuroscience, Patricia Brown. Rola Dali. Mark Andre Derry. Mathieu Gauvin. <laughs> El Sheikh Ibrahim Kays. <laughs> Sarah Charlotte Conifal. <laughs> Pascal Krop. <laughs> May Sater. Zara Shiri Varnam Kasti. <laughs> Allison Christina Simeone. <laughs> Hania Tusi. <laughs> For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmacology, Chia Hao Chang. And Kush Madan. <laughs> For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology, Ashkan Golzar. <laughs> Sharon Harrell. <laughs> Noor Roger Malik. <laughs> Michael Jonathan O'Sullivan. <laughs> Alexis Dale Pez. <laughs> Jernaja Stair. <laughs> William Corey Velinsky. For the degree of Master of Science in Biochemistry, Alexandra Katigbak. <laughs> Amrita Shergill. <laughs> Tarika Vijayaragavan. <laughs> Monica 
Sergeyeva Viktorova. Hong Yu Wang. For the degree of Master of Science in Biology, Luke Anderson Trockme. Alan Garcia Elfring. Kyle Michael Lewis. Angela Lilico Ochur. For the degree of Master of Science in Cell Biology, Jeffrey Robert Linham. For the degree of Master of Science in Microbiology and Immunology, Shane Bestrochi. Fan Huang. For the degree of Master of Science in Neuroscience, Elise Bonema. Elias Fouad Chalet. Stefania Sarah, Sarah Zikolowska. Miriam Kia. Vincent Kong Sing Ta. Hai Lun Liu. Emily Ann Opala. Laurentiu Oprea. Zara Oji. Devin James Sodoms. For the degree of Master of Science in Pharmacology, Estefania Marin Sierra. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Anatomy and Cell Biology, Sibat Amen Anam. Kiran Arumugam. Megan Anna Barden. Catherine Elizabeth Barron. Claudia Monica Bednars, Distinction Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. <laughs> Sabrina Benalia. <laughs> Michaela Ariel Berkovich Sedinsky. Maria Bersaneva, distinction. Beatrice Bishara. Billy Tsai. Chantel Josephine Castellino. Connor Castratoro. Samantha Laura Champagne. Emilia Chatelier, distinction. Loretta Yun Yi Chung, Dean's Honor List. Desiree Yi Yong Chao. Julia Chronopoulos. <laughs> Heli Yamina Chung. Adam Evan Cordero Gomez. 
Marie Sophie Corrigan. Chrislia Anna Sue Cunningham, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Daniel Da Costa. Kenneth John Drummond. Benjamin Dubuc, Distinction. Andrew Fuchigami, Dean's Honor List. Albane Marie Garretton. Kyla Rachel Germain, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Erin Graff, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Tabia Johanna Ermgard Haas Hager, Distinction, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Kiera Ann Harnden, Distinction. Zineb Hara, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology, Dean's Honor List. Allison Corinne Hecht. May Hagagi. Chloe Marie Hiller. Angel Hu. Aislinn Ray Hunt. John George Yachan. Parvani Yeshna Jalim. Hirthana Kandasami. Azra Karmali, distinction. Lila Rose Diamond Kelly, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Ahmed Ali Khan, distinction. Danny Hunmin Kim, distinction. Carla Kuhn. Giovanni Anthony Lampasona, distinction. Mukanga Marcia Lang, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Rajik Amartyakor Laraya. Herin Lee. Kung Jun Lee. Minju Lee, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. Christopher On Yu Lee. Katrina Lee. Yifan Liu. Ariel Valet Locke. Madison Alexander Luck. Erica Marone. Shahat Mehra. 
Michelle Aaron Marie Millions Distinction. Seung Hyun Min, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List. Sarah Latifa Mirza. Patience Karungi Misigyi. Sarah Nayan. Min Junior Gwen Novo. Sapan Patel. Furuhide Pevandi. Elizabeth Courtney Powell. Zakub Zafar Kazi. Mautaz Imad Rimawi. Bianca Francesca Rossini. Ryan Benjamin Roos Grossman. Christian Rushan. Felicia Russo. Denisa Yulia Russo. Distinction, first class honors in anatomy and cell biology. Ruchi Sharan, Dean's Honor List. Ty Slutsky. Murphy St. John. Claudius Stoklosa, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Jia Ni Sun. Mahidul Islam Syed, Distinction, First Class Honors in Anatomy and Cell Biology. <laughs> Candice May Taguibao. <laughs> Marina Anna Waqid, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Anna Yu Wang, Dean's Honor List. Jerry Shia. Yi Lin Shu. Cheng Chen Zhang, Distinction. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Chetan Pai Singh Ashta. <laughs> Kevin Backrack, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Carla Montserrat Castro, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Alexa Piroska Fejes Clark, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Natalie Dang. George Elias Daskalakis. <laughs> Anders Wilder Erickson, Distinction J. Jeffrey Seaman Prize. Rayan Faki, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Okay. 
Iona Giannopoulos. Ada Lee Graham Pacan, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Ingrid Harb, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Zvetena Ristova, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Antoine Karoychan. Kayla Karolas. Izel Koyoturk, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Florence Labelle Guay, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Jasmine Lee Brubacher, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Richard Rui Lin. Richard Fangzi Liu, First Class Honors in Biochemistry, Major Hiram Mills Medal, Dean's Honor List. Samantha Bernice Matok. Ipshita Nandi. John Obiora Man Namchi. Pad Shalaluk Panic Panic Nan Tackel, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Danish Patel. Jason Sadek, First Class Honors in Biochemistry, Dean's Honor List. Jeremy Schumann. Ho Jun Su. Yuan Yi Sun, Dean's Honor List. Chin Chia Sun, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Cameron Grant Thompson, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Nicole Lynn Udi. Maud Vinette, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Andy Fuang Kwok Vu. C. Jia Wang, First Class Honors in Biochemistry, McGill Alumni Society Prize, Dean's Honor List. Reed, Evan William Warsaba, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Taryn Welikovich, Distinction. Manuela Widjaja, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Colton William Wimmer. Xian Shue. Winnie Zhao, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. Yi Fan Zhou, First Class Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Piuma Madashika Abe Nayaka, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biology. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology. Sarah June Adams Cruz, Distinction.
Zafarali Ahmed, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biology. Clarissa Alberti Fleck. Sonali Amarasakara. Alexander Bo. Sebastien Beliveau, Distinction. Joel Leslie Brodowski Adams. Anne Cameron. Olivia McLean Canny. Michelle Louise Carter. Olivia Covey, Distinction, First Class Honors in Biology. Seong Hee Cho. Oliver Kopp Clark. Casey Cohen, First Class Honors in Biology. Alexander Garabed Hosley Cowles. Giovanna de Blasis, First Class Honors in Biology. Allison Nicole de Merlis, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Jenna Marie Dilworth. Courtney Alexandra Ells, First Class Honors in Biology. Lauren Finlay. Celine Garando. Ilki Galadi, Distinction. B BSc Global Designation Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biology. <laughs> Rachel Kusuma Giles. Ariel Grenet, First Class Honors in Biology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Sun Lin Han. Samin Anwarul Islam, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Tara Danielle Jagadish, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Iba Kamel. Ksenia Kolosova. Honors in Biology. Karen Kwong. Mary Lou Lachance. Tom Jean Sebastien Lamore. Felicia Lazur. Angela Liang. Haymar Kim, or Haymar Lim. Catherine Linda Lister. Leanne Louis, Distinction. Madeline Grace McDonald. Aman Pelaj Malhotra. <laughs> Helen Ruth Monsell, First Class Honors in Biology. Edward Stratton McCready.
Sherry McDowell, distinction. <laughs> Dot Yuen, Frank Riegler Prize in Ecology Dean's Honor List. Jonathan Mark Edwin Pelosi, First Class Honors in Biology, Penn Hollow Prize in Biology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Catherine Pan. Sotiris Sycharis. Sabrina Kilay, First Class Honors in Biology, Dean's Honor List. Rachel Elizabeth Ryan, Distinction, BSc Global Designation, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Biology. Sydney Catherine Sebro. Emily Stull, <laughs> Katerina Smigok, <laughs> Ryan Jeffrey Smith, <laughs> Remy St. Gelais, First Class Honors in Biology. Bing Yu Sun, Honors in Biology. Amanda Catherine Tanti. Rania Carr Aphrodite Virk, First Class Honors in Biology. Melissa Zweig. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology and Mathematics, Barbara Gravel. <laughs> Jia Lu, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. <laughs> Tian Yu Xia, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Immunology, Michael Chen, Distinction First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Nikki Caitlin Cliff, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Jonathan Alexander Cohen, Distinction First Class Honors in Immunology. Robert Isaac Shantz Cohen, Distinction, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Etienne Ming Flamant, First Class Honors in Immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Benjamin Patrick Forstell, First Class Honors in Immunology, Dean's Honor List. Jeremy Lauren Gunga Bisun, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Jared Andrew McDonald, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Sarin Kar Singh, Honors in Immunology, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Tim Sun, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Lin Zhe Tung, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Han Chen Wang, First Class Honors in Immunology. <laughs> Yu Jian Wang, Anna and Robert Skomorowski Prize in Science, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Immunology, Dean's Honor List.
Ning Yu Zhang, first class honors in immunology, dean's honor list. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Microbiology and Immunology, Naim Afetch, distinction, first class honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Nahomi Noah Amberber. <laughs> Aravinth Anantharaja. Jung Min Bai, Lucila Baldassari, Dean's Honor List, Renaud Baltazar, Ashley Marie Campbell, Julian Shambon, Distinction, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Edward Chalebois, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Charles. <laughs> Pei Zhu Chang. Mario, Mario Corrado, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> George Yanjun Dong, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Carson Fang. Claire Fogarty, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Louis Alexander Fournier. <laughs> Olivia Stephanie Ganescu, BSc Global Distinction, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. Nikola Petrov Kokinov, Distinction, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Mariam Ghazi. <laughs> hey Rim Han. <laughs> Adam Sahi Hassan. Naurin Hoke, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Daniel Huang, Distinction First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Nusin Sirath Hussein, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. Hannah Hyde D'Souza, Distinction, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Marina Kokosos. <laughs> Lydia Cassandra Susan Labrie, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Samantha Lancion. Natasha Kathleen LeBlanc, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Shin Li. <laughs> Yun Xuan Lin, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Samantha Loeb. Rafael Angel Lo Giudice Jimenez, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Natasha Mayer. 
Genevieve Isabel Melo. Distinction, first class honors in microbiology and immunology. Craig McCullough. Distinction, first class honors in microbiology and immunology. Annabelle Mingui. Valerie Jean Moncton. Madeline Jassette Nash, BSc Global Distinction, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. <laughs> Kayla Paulini, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. <laughs> Dilhan Jonathan Pereira. Jason Aaron Race. <laughs> Crystal Maria Sequera, distinction, first class honors in microbiology and immunology. <laughs> Jordana Serrero, EGD Murray Prize in microbiology, first class honors in microbiology and immunology, Dean's Honor List. Jana Rebecca Shapiro, first class honors in microbiology and immunology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Reginald Sivarajan. <laughs> Sydney Ray Smith Lopez, distinction, first class honors in microbiology and immunology. Mathieu St. Pierre. Sean Alexander Taylor. Roman Telichenko. Andrea Wang, first class honors in microbiology and immunology. Jing Ri Wang. Kevin Wang. Yu Chen Wei. Liam Joseph Wallen Brown, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. Guo Yu Shu, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Samuel Ruiji Jai. Hedi Zhao, First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology, Dean's Honor List. Wei Zhao. First Class Honors in Microbiology and Immunology. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience, Sherifuddin Rifat Ahmed, Dean's Convocation Prize, Dean's Honor List. Jarmaine Cantos Anti, Distinction. Palig Balian, distinction. <laughs> Sasha Carmel Vera Burwell, distinction. <laughs> Caitlin Korchesny, distinction, first class honors in neuroscience. <laughs> Michael James Crisati, distinction. Jason Da Silva Castanera, Dean's Honor List. Kevin Da Silva Castanera, Distinction. Jennifer Boya Dai, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List.
Oluwe Sun Daniel Davies Distinction. Elvisha Damala. Raina Fan, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Sylvia Ganesha Murthy. Jennifer Guan, Dean's Honor List. Regan Nicole Amel, BSc Global De Designation, Dean's Honor List. Lu Yang Hua, Distinction. Jeanette Hui, First Class Honors in Neuroscience Dean's Honor List. Louis Hyun, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List. Yasmin Kamen, First Class Honors in Neuroscience Dean's Honor List. Hyung Mo Kang. Graham Mackenzie Casper, Dean, our distinction, Dean's multidisciplinary undergraduate research list. Dori Kalaf, distinction. Timothée Langlois Terrien, distinction. Ji Lin Liu, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Jesse Alexander Mendoza, First Class Honors in Neuroscience Dean's Honor List. Wen Xin Miao. Thalia Neum, Distinction. Annie Yu Chin, distinction. Ryan John Ramos, first class honors in neuroscience, Jack Bloomer Prize in science, Dean's honor list. Pierre-Luc Rochon, first class honors in neuroscience. Colleen Rollins, BSc Global Designation, Dean's Convocation Prize, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List. Amrit Sampali, Distinction, First Class Honors in Neuroscience. Christina Maria Santella, Firhana Sayanvala, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Kwan Yu Shie. Jane Su. Natalie Sun. Chow Shi Tan, Dean's Honor List. Madeline Olivia Taylor, First Class Honors in Neuroscience, Dean's Honor List. Miriam Maud Verley, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dean's Honor List. Alex Wang, Distinction. <laughs> Matthias Anthony Ware, First Class Honors in Neuroscience, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Justin Daniel Wong. Johnson Ying, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Nay Yan Yu, First Class Honors in Neuroscience, Dean's Honor List.
Stephen Zhang. Sean Zhang. Jeremy Zuo. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology, Adam Michael Marcus Almeida. John Anthony Antello. Maria Isabel Jana Aparicio. Natalie Betin Janet. Celia Anisa Buaza. Alice Bruno. Brittany Buffon. Gabrielle Stephanie Busk. Jacqueline Chan, Dean's Honor List. Marylise Elian Chivi. Amber Lin Chao Yun Wa. Cassandra Crimi. Ya Cheng Tsui. Karina Dauto. Kavin Data. Michael D. Genova. Robert Charles Dubay, distinction. Sassen Ephraim. Joshua Adam Ephros. James Martin Eng. Yelin Fan. Daniel Zachary Foster. Young Hoon Go. Tamar Gamalin, Dean's Honor List. Parma Giuseppe Goubert. Kimberly Guinan. Dong Wei He. Nancy He, First Class Honors in Pharmacology, Dean's Honor List. Bradley Robert Hoffman. <laughs> Tiffany Huang, Distinction. <laughs> Catherine Jabour. Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Pharmacology. Zara Javed, Dean's Honor List. Jocelyn Gia, Anna and Robert Skomorowski Prize in Science, Dean's Honor List. Heyun Kim. Anna, Sophie, Emily, Marie, Labar. Tammy, Lay. Nita,
Kalyana Lalang, First Class Honors in Pharmacology. Matthew Lau, First Class Honors in Pharmacology. Emmanuel Victoria LeBlanc, First Class Honors in Pharmacology, Dean's Honor List. Yi Chi Christina Lin, First Class Honors in Pharmacology, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Haley Lapiat. <laughs> Wee Yu Ching Liu, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> William Liu. Adrian Quan Yun Lui. <laughs> Bei Er Luo, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Pharmacology. <laughs> Justin May, Dean's Honor List. <laughs> Jessica Giuseppina Mancuso. Kristen Moran. Vedehi Nafad, distinction. Elif Bersu Oke. Adam Pankowski. Hyun Jung Park. Morgan Simonian Phillips. Otilia Popa. Pavel Paulowski, First Class Honors in Pharmacology. Samira Ashraf Ramatula. Amir Raza Gizad, distinction. <laughs> Sherilyn Janelle Recinto, distinction, first class honors in pharmacology. Audrey Ross Lemire. Kudsia Sadat, distinction, first class honors in pharmacology. Olivia Scarfone, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. <laughs> Celine Marie Stibolt. <laughs> Joshua Michael Trivlidis. <laughs> Luke Truong. Sophia Azura Udin. <laughs> Stephanie Valente. <laughs> Manveen Virde, distinction. <laughs> Annie Wang. <laughs> Jennifer Wang, distinction. Yi Xuan Wang. <laughs> Yi Zhe Wang, first class honors in pharmacology. <laughs> Yi Ran Wang. <laughs> Yu Fei Wang, first class honors in pharmacology. Caroline Mia Weglinski, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. <laughs> Maya Wiseman.
Cameron Curtis Wong. Caitlin Ka Hei Yan. Yu Hao Yan. Fatima Yashmin. Yong Jun Yi. Xiao Ming Zheng. Thank you. Tala Zurekat. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physiology, Kavya Anshuri. Alexander Zradkov Borisov. Ryan Mackenzie Boiting. Rachel Tin Sum Chan. Min Chen. Nancy Duan, Dean's Honor List. Lian D. Ning. Stephen Paul Finley. Caitlin Gattuso. Sarah Amal Hadiui Sharif. Armin Hadian, First Class Honors in Physiology. Amira Iman Hicks. Thomas Joseph Hui. Yuan Ching Audrey Cao. <laughs> Hannah Kapoor. <laughs> Christelle Robin Khoury. Distinction, first class honors in physiology. <laughs> Ju Yun Kim, first class honors in physiology, dean's honor list. Danny Lee Kim. Blanche Lee. Jeremy King Hei Lee, distinction. Anna Elizabeth Leach. Amanda Devora Levitt. Alan Lee, First Class Honors in Physiology, Dean's Honor List. Jin Lee, Distinction. Miao Shi Lee. Jia Chen Liang, Distinction, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List. Yu Liang. Patrick Macbeth. Cand Cadence Elizabeth McPherson. Elizabetta Maria Marata. 
First Class Honors in Physiology. Scott Thomas Martina. Caitlin Elaine McEwen. Miles Patton McLean. Taylor McWerter. Clara Melosh. Sierra Lee Miller. Jack Muhanna, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, Dr. Kathleen Tarot Prize in Physiology, First Class Honors in Physiology, Dean's Honor List. Alfia Mukaryamova, Distinction. Vasikar Murugapu Pathi, Dean's Multidisciplinary Undergraduate Research List, First Class Honors in Physiology. Meruan Unajela. Emily Palisatis. Jade Wimay Park. Radu Alexandru Pon. Annie Pelicanakis. Clara Petit. Ray Michael Abisamis Ragas. Lauren Esther Rium, Distinction, Kathleen Tarot Prize in Physiology. Savannah Ritondo. Rachel Betty Melind Sankey. Yan Fei Song. Vivian Tse, First Class Honors in Physiology. Desislava Vladimirova Zoneva. Ralph Wicked. Gary Wang, Distinction. Chu Fan Wang, Distinction. Vivian Yun. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physiology and Mathematics, Eli Haddad. Bavithra. Mahanathis. Anthony Chi Haim Tam. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physiology and Physics, Nikki Wei K. Tam.
Thank you, Professor Ragsdale. Would the graduating class please stand? In my capacity as Chancellor of McGill University, I declare and confirm that each of you is now entitled to the distinction of the degree, diploma, or certificate that has been deferred, conferred upon you. <laughs> With no deferral. <laughs> it has been conferred. With all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities that are pertinent there too. Congratulations. Felicitations. The Secretary General, Ms. Edita Rogowska, will deliver some closing remarks. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Dear Class of 2017, your graduation year marks Montreal's 375th anniversary and Canada's 150th. In recognition of Canadians whose contributions have made an impact, I'd like to close today's ceremony with a few words from a Canadian scholar and scientist closely connected to the Faculty of Science and to McGill itself having served as its principal for 38 years. I'm referring to Sir John William Dawson. Right before retiring in 1893, Principal Dawson wrote a message to the graduates of McGill. I would like to share this message with you as you leave McGill to embark on the next phase of your journey. Professor Dawson said, to the graduates of today, I must say, we have full confidence that you will sustain the honor of the university and will regard the education you have received as a sacred trust of which you are the stewards and which is to be used for the good of all. This message is as true today as it was back then. Congratulations to you all and best of luck. Felicitations. To conclude this ceremony, please stand as Dr. Tracy Smith-Bassett leads us in the singing of our national anthem. 